Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course where I learn this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh Shem El Shai's elect, which is the house of David. All right, just going to get into a quick uh, morning lesson, nothing too deep, just some that I uh, found uh, to be spiritual, you know. The spiritual man judges all things. All right, yesterday was uh, January the 1st, year 2023, the hopeful year Yahweh Shem El Shai. Uh, Jacob's trouble comes, all right? You know, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right, and on that day, all right, they put these two movies, which we've all seen them before, uh, up on Netflix, all right? They did it on January the 1st, all right? You know, as soon as 12 a.m. hit, these were available. The first purge, all right? And then this one right here, as you can see now, it says the purge election year, all right? Now, why would Esau be putting these movies back out? You know what I'm saying? Um... On a on a on a streaming level, the way he has them, all right. You know, you know, you could buy the movie, you could rent the movie, and whatever, blase blase. But when it's up on Netflix, it's just a, you know, it's just right there. Just and more people have Netflix accounts than you know they want to rent movies. So Esau is feeding into that narrative that he's gonna get ready to, you know, set you people against each other, all right. You know, he's getting ready to do all kind of things, all right, and he's not really doing anything, it's your by Shemel who, who who makes that devil move the way he moves, but just saying, uh, Esau sees, all right, the writing on the wall, and he knows civil unrest is the only answer to his, uh, the only method to his madness in which he's trying to push out on the people, which is to ultimately, you know, karagma you, all right, he wants to karagma you, he wants to put his, his mark in you, all right. Yo, go to the brother's page, uh, Yawa uh, uh, This one's, yes, yeah, 3.0. That one's 3.0. And subscribe, all right? First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth. And sincerity, all kinds of things have already happened. 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble is upon us. All right. Call her Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Maybe we can get the hell up out of here. Ultimate goal is the MOTB. We already know what that is, right? All right. A house divided cannot stand. Now, it's very interesting. After Brother Yahweh Conan, you know, uh, I, I believe he, he's from Texas. Okay, that he, uh, that, uh, that Esau Edom, he put that video up, but that Esau Edom would, you know, sort of, I'll put it this way, repost <laughs> those two movies. All right. You got the one purge election year. What? And the first purge. Now, if you remember, put this in your mind. If you remember the first purge, it was what? It was an experiment. It was an experiment against Jake in Jake's neighborhood in, in the hood, if you will. You know, all right, as what they call the ghetto. And really, that's why we look up words. You look up the word ghetto, it means a place where the Jews dwell. <laughs> you can't make that up. Anyway, you know, it was uh, it was in Jake's neighborhood and it was a, just an experiment, you know. And then uh, after that, I guess the second purge is spread out, spread out to all of uh, Babylon, all of the United States. OK, so it's very interesting that they would bring those two movies out now. Another thing <laughs> happened today. Uh, uh, the, the elder, uh, the elder Manat Zakba on the chat sent me, uh, uh, and several brothers I'm sure sent me a video of Jake. Man, I think it was a Jake. Uh, 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 look, I'm just gonna say it like this: the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah is the beginning of wisdom, because he will do something to you. He will do something to you. So yeah, and and right now I'm watching Apostle Tahar. And he's he's going into Apostle Gabar's video that he just put up put out about the culling of Israelites in 2024. So, hey man, the, you know Apostle Tahar he he coined this year right. You know just <laughs> woo. This is Isaiah 19 and verse two. What does it say right here? Let's see if I want to go. to Yep, I want to go to verse one. Let's go. Let's get it. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt 
and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst thereof. Did you hear that? There's a whole lot in that scripture right there. It's going. This place is going to melt the heart. The the uh, the uh, they call it the the heartland, the heartbeat of America. You know, a uh, uh, Babylon is going to burn the bur the burden of Egypt. And we all know this is the new uh, Sodom in Egypt, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, right? But he rideth upon a swift cloud. There's going to be a whole lot of culling in 2024, especially. Hey, what did the scripture say? Judgment shall begin at his house. OK, so you two thirds, you've got to go. You are going to be purged. Thus say if you how about Shem Yahushua, verse two. And I will set Egyptians against uh, the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right. This is coming to a theater near you. <laughs> believe, hey, don't hey, don't believe me. Search the scriptures, as it says, right? Verse three, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the count of the council thereof, and they shall seek the idols and the charmers. Salak you, damn it! Salak you. It's always something, man. Distractions. All right, let's let's read it again and seek. The idols of the charmers and, and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. You remember in Isaiah 47, it goes into it and it says, stand now with thine enchantments. And that's talking about Babylon, Esau, Edom. You know, the Egyptians against the Egyptians. There's going to be a purge soon come, man. He's going to smite all these people that fought against Jerusalem. Do you understand that? All right, let's go here. Let's read this. You didn't have to give me one moment. No, I'll just go ahead and read it now. Second Ezra 15 and verse 16. Mm -mm. Here we go. Verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. These are warnings. Woe means destruction. It's a purge coming. All right. Verse 15. For the, for, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. Go back and watch that purge. Go back and watch those movies. As a matter of fact, I may want to go into it and watch them again or watch one or two or a half of it or whatever tonight. Because this is coming. Esau Edom knows what's going on. He brings out these two movies again, you know, puts them on Netflix, which is the, it's just out there now. You know, when you got Netflix accounts, you can watch it for free anytime. All right. Then you got that movie ISS. Right. Then you had that movie that just came out. Uh, uh, was it Leave the World or something like that? And then there's another movie that's coming out. Oh, I forget what it was. Uh, it was. There was another movie that's coming out. If I can remember it, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and, 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 you know, tell you about it. A lot of brothers know about it already. I just, you know, the name of the movie eludes me. All right. So, you know, Esau Edom always shows you what he's getting ready to do before he does it. Now, ultimately, again, yet again, like the brother Yahweh Khan has said, it is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that is causing these damn devils to do these things. You remember the scripture goes into it and it said, the Lord is in the mind of the kings. He turn him, turn it uh, whithersoever he will. All right. Whatever. It, you know, the scripture goes into it. He kills. He makes alive. He does all these things, man. All right. That's why it's that's why it's not it's not good. It's 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 uh, 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 uh it's 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 more than good than to have a healthy fear of your how about shimmy out. I'll put it that way. Verse 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor their princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. We read these scriptures all the time. But see, man, now we uh, now we uh, you know driving them home. We you know we we hitting RBIs, ribbies, if you will. Uh, that's, it's a baseball term. You know, it's where you get a hit and you drive in runs, man. All right, we getting RBIs right now because we seeing these things happen. These prophecies are popping off the pages like crazy. Call on all your how about Shimmy out shot. This this is absolutely beautiful. It is. It's, this is comforting. And uh, hopefully you're getting comforted by these scriptures right now. Verse 17, you know, hey, and, and, uh, and fed, I'm feeding my own self. I love it. I love it. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city 
and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All the more the women think about this for a moment. All right? You know, they, hey, they got these women, uh, 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 Eve's all the women, really in a trick bag because they think they can do this, they can do that. The, uh, the elder just put out a video where, you know, it showed this woman and she was saying, y'all better listen to me. Uh, uh, I'm out in the woods. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But you don't know what you're going to do on, the, on tomorrow. Your life is but a vapor. By the way, you know, hey, <laughs> the scripture goes into it. Seven women going to be clinging to one man. And saying, and you know, and saying what? Let uh, just uh, let our reproach be put away from us. Let us be called by your name, please. So all this is coming, man. Let's read verse eighteen again. All right. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity. What? No pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, which is coming. It's coming, brother against brother, realm against realm, people against people, Egyptians against Egyptians. Some of your family will cause you to be put to death. Let's read about it. Matthew 10, of verse 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death. See that? And the father, the child, and the child shall, uh, shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. This place is finished. Babylon is, go is, is circling the damn drain, man. Don't you see it? Man, repent before it's too late. Turn back to Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai, which in fact is our true power, the power of Israel, the power of the universe. None of his words are going to go out void. All his prophecies are, are happening right in front of your eyes. The house of Dawada, the house of David is being built. I'm excited right now. Let's read here. Let's, let's go here. Let's read this. May I? Matthew 12 and verse 25. And Hamashiach Yahawashai knew their thoughts. He did what? He knew their thoughts. We got to even reprove our thoughts. Every now and then you get an evil, a messed up thought up in your head and you got to pray about that and say, Yahweh by Shimei Awashah, what in the world was that? Please take that away from me. You just, you got to be, you got to uh, uh, walk circumspectly, man. There's so many things that we should be doing, but a whole lot of you Israelites ain't doing nothing. You're not doing a damn thing. Uh, uh, he, uh, this is what he said. He said, I said unto them, every kingdom divided, is it, uh, divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. You see that? It's nothing but division in this place, confusion, madness, disgusting. Everything's upside down and turned by the wayside. You know? But for some reason, for some reason, and we already know what it is, for some reason, you know, uh, Esau, Edom, he's the accuser of the brethren, and, he, uh, and he's allowed to call us the T word. You already know what it is. A damn non, what they call it, a nonviolent terrorist. That's what they called us. Hey. Uh, that, that don't make no damn sense. Obviously, they don't know the terror of the Lord. Call Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, verse 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand okay and the scripture goes into it it said that old devil uh, 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 the devil and satan didn't it it said the devil and satan were cast uh, uh, uh cast into the fiery pit which in fact is america baby that's babylon okay Woo! all right hey stay tuned i'm gonna make sure it's still recording Everything's, everything is beautiful. <laughs> Let's go. Call Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Hey, man, everything's happening with the quickness, you know, with the quickness. It, it, it asks what it is. Zechariah 3 and verse 7. Awake, O sword, against the shepherd and against the man that is my fellow. Say if the Lord Yahweh of hosts smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. 
and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. Did you hear that? Two thirds got to go. The little ones got to go. It's going to be a culling. See, like Apostle Gabar's video that he just did. It's going to be a culling and a sifting. He said, I'm going to sift you Israelites. I'm going to sift you out. Okay. And, and that's what, hey, hey, woo, woo. Let's go. Verse eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third part uh, shall be left therein. What's that third part? What's, what's a part of that third part? The, well, all that third part is what? The elect. See, it's all about the elect. That's what is it? Uh, what is it? What, verse nine. And I will bring the third part through the fire. See? Our, our, everything's heating up. Uh, war and uh, wars and rumors of wars. It's all heating up, man. It's getting hot in her. See that? It's, you, but leave your clothes on. <laughs> Salakia. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as, as gold is tried and they shall call upon my name. Yeah, how about Shim Shai? Let's go. And I will hear them. He said, my sheep hear my voice. And I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. You see that happening right now too. You don't see that going on with the small tic-tac hats. You don't see that going on in, the, uh, in the, uh, the Christian church. You don't see that. You don't see that going on nowhere else. But right here at the house of Dawada, man. You don't see it going on nowhere else. You don't see it going on like that. All right. Let's keep, uh, let's continue on. Ooh, here, here you go. I typed that in and it pulled up right here on a, uh, on the search engine, purging, culling, sifting of Israelites. Okay. Purging, culling, sifting of Israelites. And it's, it's, what's that say? It says YouTube, don't it? Don't they say YouTube right there? Let's see what. Let's see this. Yes, sir. Of the okay. Yep. I'm gonna go back and watch all that. All right. Sifting, purging, and culling of uh, are upon us Israelites in 2024. Be disciplined and circumspect. Is that what it says? Um, Salakia. I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Discipline and circumspect. Right. The scripture goes into it and tells you that. And, uh, and I don't know how you wouldn't be, but if you're not subscribed to Daily Edification for Apostle Gabar, you need to be subscribed i'm just saying all right let's go here move down i want to i want to watch this let me get done with this lesson so i can watch this all right um daniel here we go daniel 4 and verse 17 is gonna be a cult man you know what let's look some of them words up this is uh true name i'm gonna pause that let's look some of these words up here call call calling when you call something uh, we used to call like, you know, I'm a carpenter or whatever. When you call something, it's a rejection. You know, you get a piece of wood that's not quite straight enough to use in a, in a, in a project or, you know, or, 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 some, or you know, like a, a, a nail that's, that's missing a head or something like that or a bent nail or something like that. You got to call it out. All right. Culling. 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 Reduction of wild animal population by selective Culling. slaughter. Woo. Oh, that's the spirit. Call her lawyer. How about, but what, by what selective slaughter scripture says, prepare slaughter for his children. That's talking about Esau, eat them. Hey, but you know what? Two thirds therein shall be cut off and die. They got to be cold. The action of sending an inferior or surplus farm animal to be slaughtered. Two thirds Israelites are considered to be inferior even though they are superior to the other nations, but they are inferior to the ones that are actually doing the will of the Father. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Chai, Matthew 12 and verse 50. It's also in St. John. Okay? Excuse me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's in St. John also. Is he calling? Let's see. Purging. Oh, purging. See, that's the spirit. That's the spirit right there. Purge. No, I, I spelled that wrong. So like you. Here you go. Purge. All right, an abrupt or violent removal of a group of Purge. people. <laughs> you can't make this up. Violent removal. What does scripture say? Thus, with violence, that great city shall become the knot in one hour. 
You know, and I, I mixed up a bunch of scriptures with that one right there. So, hey, man, well, 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 let's look up another one. Wow. Sifting. Oh, we're going to go into that. We're going to go into that. Let's get it. Let's go. My phone had to chime on that one. Let's read this first. Daniel 4 and verse 17. This is the matter by the decree of the watchers. The scripture also calls the men that are uh, sighing and crying in the streets. It also calls them seers. If you're watching, then you're going to see. And if you see, then, then you damn sure are watching. Hmm? That's the, that's the saying of the day right there. Call all your Shim Yahweh This is what the creator of watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up it the basis of men. He does all these things, right? Right? That's why I briefly went into it. You know, and we say, you know, Esau Edom's doing this and doing that. Really, he's playing his part to a T. He's playing his part absolute perfectly. Absolutely perfect. See that? Isaiah 13, verse 16. Oh, I, I, I really want to watch this. Ooh, I need to get done with this lesson so I can get into this lesson right here. All right? Get done with this lesson so I can get into another lesson. Meditate day and night on these scriptures, man. Let's go back to verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. See that? And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You, do you see what the scriptures are saying? Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. These are very plain to the point scriptures. You know what happens when your wife get, gets ravished. You understand what that means? Before their eyes, when your children get slayed and dashed to pieces before your eyes, that's, a, that's hardcore right there. You know, because I, I can tell you right now, I absolutely love my children. You know, what he say? There'll be a sixth thing that the Lord, uh, 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 every, no, no how, how does the scriptures go? I messed it up. A man that have, uh, a man that have joy of his children, and a man that lived to see the, the downfall of his enemies or something like that. Here, let me see if I can go to it. Okay. Uh, I don't know where it's at. And lived to see the downfall of his enemies. Yes, sir. There'd be nine things. There we, there we go right there. I was quoting it wrong anyway. So rock 25 verse 7. There'd be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tenth will I utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the downfall of his enemy. And some of these enemies are what? Two thirds Israelites. Why? Because they are, they are, uh, uh, they need to be cold, sifted and purged. You see it? Beautiful. Amos 9 verse 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift. See that? The house of Israel. See? Uh huh. Amongst all nations, whether you how about Shimei Shai has scattered us two thirds all over the damn place, you know, and the electors all over the place. It is what it is. Speckled bird, all that. All right. Like corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Not not the tares, but the grain. See that the grain. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. You can go into that and ask these damn. Uh, 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 B.O.I.s, you know, black only Israelite, black. I can't stand that word. You know, it's crazy. Anyway, B.O., you go ask those B.O.I.s, well, what is what is the scripture talking about when it's going into uh, 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 gather the tares and the wheat together? What the hell is that talking about? You see? Come on, man. Verse 10, and all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, all the what? All the sinners, the ones who need to be called. Which which say to the uh, uh, say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Verse eleven: In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. Woo! That is what that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build in that day uh, in it. I will build it as in the days of old. You see the house; it's being built right now. It ain't some damn third temple that some uh, dirty ass Edomites trying to build up over there in, in our homeland, which they which they going to get completely obliterated. Also, Amalek, you already know. No, I didn't know damn physical third temple. 
It's us. Okay? That's beautiful, man. You see, in the, like in the, just like in the days of old, what, what does that say? What does that say? And now we're bringing Ken, the, uh, 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 I'm, I'm not going to read that right now. I'm getting ready to close out anyway. Okay? Hopefully this was edifying, man. I love doing these lessons. I love it. I love this word. Isaiah 30 and verse 28. And his breath as an overflowing stream shall reach to the midst of the neck to, uh, to, to what? What is that? Is that word again? Sift the nations with the sieve of vanity and there shall be a bridle in their jaws of the people causing them to err. Did you hear that? Causing them to err. He said he's going to do all these things. He's going to do it all. He's already doing it all. And that video that the elder sent me, woo, dude got in a, uh, uh, I guess it was a, somebody got in a car wreck and then another truck came and hit, the, uh, hit a motorcycle or something and dude's leg was gone. And when I say gone, I mean, I'm talking about from the knee down, his leg was ghost. It was gone and he was standing up in, just in shock. And my phone had to chime on that one. Ain't that something? Woo, let's go. Hmm. First Peter 1 verse 17. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work. See? He does all these things. Every man's work. Past the time of your sojourning here in fear. So it, it, it always goes back to having a healthy fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that's that. Hey, it's a purge coming. It's a purge. The, the purging, the culling, the sifting of you Israelites is at hand. All right? In 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Yet again, hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, like right now. <laughs> all the time, man. All the time. Staying occupied in prophecies. That's what it's all about. Feeding, teaching the sheep so we can get the hell up out of here. All right? Hey, every chance you get, chant this place down. Kwam Yasharala. And why a Bible ball? Boom! Shalom.